average typist types around 40 words per minute, but even improving that a tiny bit will save you hours upon hours every single year because you're not slaving away at the keyboard looking at the next letter to type. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about some tips on how to actually type faster. Like actually, based on a system of giving you tips depending on what current typing skill you are at. There on the right, you can see that there is more or less a rough estimate as to which level you should put yourself in based on uh, your words per minute and therefore should assumingly take tips from. If you do not know your words per minute, please go to 10fastfingers.com right now, pause the video. Uh, 10 Fast Fingers will be linked in the description. Go to that website, take a 60 second test, and then come back with your level. And so therefore, you should take tips from each of these levels. However, you may miss some key concepts even if you're an 80 word per minute typist, so you might want to just stick around for every level. Level 1 will be first and level 4 last, so be sure to enjoy the video and give it a thumbs up if you do happen to get something out of this video or if it helps you in a new way. Also, subscribing is appreciated, but obviously never required. Thanks everyone, and enjoy today's video. I'd just like to add that everything in this video is not based on personal experience, but actual research. All of these methods have been used by professional typists to get very fast and to overall improve the quality of their daily lives. Thanks everyone and enjoy the next few levels. If you are a level 1 typist and it is safe to say that you have not had much experience with typing in general and simply haven't taken any class or are just too young to truly have enough experience. That being said, you could also be older than what a level 1 typist generally is and just haven't had the opportunity to learn how to type correctly. Therefore, I'm going to be talking about simply the basics of typing to you level 1 typists. This will set you up for a much faster speed in the future of typing. I'd also like to quickly add that as a level 1 typist, you have so much more potential than any uh, faster typist because you can really go any way when it comes to your typing skills because you haven't really dedicated yourself to a specific skill of typing. Even though I do not type correctly, I use two fingers, I can still provide some insight after viewing so many people using something called the home row method. If you have ever taken a typing class, then it is safe to say that you've heard of what the home row method is. If you aren't familiar with the home row method, however, let me quickly explain it to you. The home row method is where you put your left hand on the keys A, S, C, and F and then the right hand on the keys J, K, L, and the semicolon. This is because your hands can reach every single key on the keyboard and therefore you can go faster. The Homer method is really important to new typists, so I suggest you look at other videos that I'm linking in this description to see all of the possibilities as to how to improve your home row typing. Home row is something that really should be improved in everybody's lives, and I'm a hypocrite for not using it, but I definitely say you have to. Being a level 2 typist is more or less the national average as to how fast people can type. If you look up what's the average typing speed, it will say 40 words per minute. However, as we become more and more centered around our computers, this number is almost surely to rise. If you are somewhere in the middle, your thought process may be, well, why should I improve? There are a lot of things as to why typing at the average pace is not actually ideal, but the main idea is that if you type even a little bit faster, your productivity and efficiency will go through the roof. That being said, the main goal as a level 2 typist is to redefine your technique as a typist. Take a quick look at any fast typist and look how they hold their hands, their posture. This will help you to become a much, much better typist in a very short amount of time. If you do not know how to redefine your technique, I'll give you a few tips as to what to look out for. The first one being typing posture. Sit upright as if you were at a dinner table. Don't look at the keyboard and keep your eyes on the screen. Accuracy. Slow down if you need, uh, slow down if needed, and practice characters more correctly. Don't rush to be faster; it just hurts you in the long run. And then the third one is consistency. Stay consistent with your words per minute. There's nothing worse than going 80 words per minute one race and then 50 the next. I often coin level two as a catch-up phrase to level three typists. As level two typists, you are definitely almost there at level three. 
Continue to practice your posture, accuracy, and consistency, and you'll most definitely become a level 3 typist and increase the efficiency and vitality while you are at the keyboard. At level 3, you are basically a superhero. You can literally do anything you want when it comes to a typing job. If you have the accuracy and consistency as mentioned in level 2, nothing is holding you back from achieving any job or banging out a paper for school in 10 minutes. However, as a level 3 typist, there is still so much room for improvement, especially if you are a gamer or developer or any job slash hobby that is centered around the keyboard. In that case, going up to level 4 makes you literally unstoppable. The best way to improve to level 4 is putting in the time and effort. This is where practicing technique and practicing raw word per minute, aka how fast you can literally smash the keyboard, comes into place. You really have to set aside 15 to 30 minutes each day to sit down and bang out some typing. Focus on things that still need to be improved, and watch as your word per minute counter slowly ticks up. You won't see immediate growth, but over time you can go to very big heights as a level 3 typist. And then and finally, at level 4, even though I said level 3 is unstoppable, you are literally godly at level 4. Either you paid very close attention in your typing class, or you have perfected the art of typing over time. Maybe both. At this point, the only motivation to get faster is to comp compete competitively in typing tournaments such as those offered by DOS Keyboard every 10 years in which the first place winner gets $5,000. At the lower end of level 4, you probably still could uh, improve a bunch by taking key concepts from level 3. If you're anywhere over 140 minutes, then why are you literally watching this video? If you are over 130 or 140 minutes, you are in the top 0.0 something percent because that is absolutely insane and congratulations to you. Good job if you are fast or good luck if you are trying to get fast. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Thanks everyone for watching today. If you did happen to enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and possibly subscribe too. I hope everyone enjoyed and had an amazing day. Peace out everyone. I know it wasn't the longest documentary, but I hope it did definitely help you. Thanks everyone so much, and peace out.